Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's review. Beautylish came through. I got my Wayne Goss Imperial Topaz Eye Palette literally in 22 hours. Crazy. So I'm going to be reviewing this for you today, showing you how I got this look, as well as the Essential Eye Cool Pencil. I picked up one of these. So if you want to hear my thoughts and first impressions on these new items, then just keep watching. <laughs> really excited. I definitely have some thoughts for you on these products. So we're going to get straight into the newest and most exciting item that Wayne Goss has released in his makeup collection. Thus far, of course, he only has brushes and lip products, lip liners, lipsticks, and lip glosses. So he has branched into the world of eyes. So right now, these items are available on Beautylish. Does not look like they are currently sold out. I love Beautylish. Their shipping is amazing and you can do flexible payments also. So if you don't want to put the money up up front, that's what I did for his uh, lip collection. The Luxury Eye Palette. This is $55. It's going to come in all silver, very simple packaging. And this is made in the USA. Always love that. 24 month shelf life. And this has 16.2 grams of product. Online on the website, meet the new staple in your eye makeup wardrobe. This luxury eye palette from Wingoss features six essential shadows in matte satin and shimmer finishes you'll reach for every day. Infused with smooth blend emollients and micronized pigments, Wayne's custom eyeshadow formula blends with the lightest touch, no special techniques needed. So we're going to start off with the packaging here. Very simple, quite sleek. You can get fingerprints on it, but I mean, you can just wipe it away. It ain't that serious. Super plain, really. It feels like plastic. It doesn't feel super luxurious, but it also doesn't feel very cheap. It just feels like nice quality plastic here. And then it does have a clasp to open it and close it, which again feels quite sturdy. On the inside, you have a nice mirror, very big. And then of course, you're going to reveal the six shades. I wouldn't expect anything less as far as this packaging from Wayne Goss. Nice quality packaging. It is very simple. That's kind of his aesthetic. Just mature and classic. So the six shades here, you're getting two mattes, three satins, and then one celestial glittery kind of eyeshadow. I know a lot of people were disappointed by this release. One, because it's $55 for six shades, and two, these are the shades he came out with. I'm gonna be on Wayne's side for this. $55 is a lot for six shades, I do agree with that, but you're getting a lot of products. And with this palette specifically, these are all essential colors that you can grab for in any makeup. Even if you are using other palettes, you can grab for this. This is an essential eyeshadow palette for a reason. So at the very least, these are shadows that you will probably probably use a lot, especially if you're into the more neutral work day, work friendly kind of tones. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're getting a decent amount of product. Comparing it to other palettes and the grams that were in those palettes, this is a better value than most luxury eyeshadow palettes. I would say it is in between the high end and luxury price point. So it's not quite as expensive as luxury, but it is a little bit more expensive than most high end palettes. And that is just as far as the amount of product that you're getting. And then as far as the color story goes, I mean, we know we've all seen these colors before we have them in our collection but for his first eyeshadow palette I would have done the same thing you definitely want to have these essential eye colors in your collection in your range now if he had a whole line already existing of different eyeshadow palettes including other neutral palettes this would totally be a yawn but as a first palette something that you can rely on to start off your makeup collection I think it's fine that he came out with these colors and they're good colors you're gonna get use out of them I would say the only color missing if I were to look at this. I love a dark chocolate brown. A lot of times I prefer that to a black, but I think kind of his idea here is you use a black to deepen any of these shades because as you can see in these shades, you're not getting a lot of depth. So that is why he added the black because you can adjust what you need. I don't think for the average consumer though, that is a very popular technique because it can be tricky to mix around blacks, but definitely from a makeup artist perspective, that's all you need. But for me, I would have liked to have seen a nice deep rich dark chocolate matte but that's okay i do of course suggest you go over and check out his video he will tell you why he picked out the colors that he did and all of that in the video something that's important is that he does a lot of testing on women with more mature skin because if it looks good on them it's going to look good on everybody else and i definitely think this is a mature skin type friendly kind of palette the satin shades in here i think are the most flattering on more mature eyes and i think this is a very universal palette for a lot of people uh, as 
far as the quality, texture, consistency, all of that goes, this is not a popular formula right now. In the industry, what is really popular is those pressed pigments, high impact, high color, high vividness, colors that pack a lot of punch and swatch really pretty. These shadows, they don't swatch all that. Honestly, if you were to swatch this, you might be disappointed. It's when it goes on the eye that you really see how good this formula is. So it's more of a traditional formula, not what is really trending right now. They're buildable colors. You're not going to get a lot of payoff right off the bat. It's very user friendly, especially if you're a beginner. The colors blend very smooth on the eye. You can build them up. And this is just as somebody who does makeup on clients, this is a formula that I personally can really appreciate. It's different from a lot of formulas that you might have in your collection. They aren't particularly powdery also, which I really like. Again, that's kind of a trendy thing going on right now. They're not really powdery. You don't get a lot of kickback from this, but they do feel very smooth at the same time. So I really like that. When you swatch them, they feel quite creamy, but you're still not getting an overload of payoff. Just kind of going down the rows to tell you how I thought. I think the matte formula is very nice, very customizable. The black here, what I like about it is that it is not too pigmented. It's not too off-putting. So I think that was important because he was kind of saying in his video how you're supposed to use these to deepen the other shades. It was important to place a black that wasn't very pigmented so that you can start off with a little bit, making it a little bit more user-friendly, but you can get this black to build up. And if you use a more dense brush, that is when you get it very, very black. So I do like this black. It's very easy to work with. It makes sense why it is the formula that it is. The satin shades in here are beautiful. They're so versatile on the eye. You can use them in the crease. They still look great. You have a nice warm shade to warm up your neutral look, a nice neutral taupe, and then a nice shimmery shade. Again, all essential colors in a neutral eye. They aren't going to give you rich payoff, as I keep saying, but they do give that wash of color that is very flattering to the eye. And then the Celestial shade is absolutely stunning. It has no pigmented base, but it really is going to add some shiny glitteriness to the eye, which you will see that in the tutorial. He did say that any palettes that he has coming out in the future, he will continue to include a black because it is an essential color. And even though I personally don't dig into blacks a lot, I do agree that it is an essential color. For me, I tend to use black more so as a liner or to do a whole smoky eye, but his video definitely did kind of remind me there are other purposes for black other than just eyeliner and smoky eyes. And then the other item that I want to talk about is the Essential Eye Coal Pencil. So he came out with three different colors. I just picked up the black one, Obsidian. I love a black liner. I really like brown liner, but I always use black. These are quite affordable. They are only $14, the same price as his lip liners. Again, just very simple functional packaging. It is a wooden pencil, so you do sharpen it. With these coal pencils, you're supposed to be able to blend them out, get a more smoky look. They're supposed to be creamier. For me, I actually think this is a very nice pencil. I really like how it's doing on my waterline. It actually kind of set in my waterline, so I had to apply more so that I could blend it out. I will have to update you guys down below about how this pencil lasts, but so far, I think it's really nice. It applied pretty creamy to the eyes. It's not too creamy or too soft, which I was fearing because it is an eye coal. It actually actually does have a little bit of waxiness, not too much because it still is smooth, but it does have some waxiness to it to give you some control and to ensure that it's not going to bleed all over your eyes. And I like this so far. It's a plain black pencil, but it's very, very black and it did a good job. So I'm going to forward you guys to my tutorial and you'll see me play with all of the colors in this palette as well as kind of give my thoughts and first impressions on this eye coal. And then I'll come back to kind of round up my thoughts with you guys. So I have already primed my eyes with my Kaleidos tone activator and we're going to dig in here. It's a hodgepodge of all the colors in here so that I could get to know the formulas. So with a MAC 224, we're starting off with this matte medium brown. Honestly, one of the most essential colors of makeup if you ask me. As you can see, it's blending on really nicely. It's not too overpowering and it looks very well dispersed on the eye. With the same brush, we're going to take this shimmery taupe. So this is more so of a satin, I would say not a shimmer. And this shade you can still use in the crease. Honestly, satins can be very flattering on more mature skin types just so that it doesn't make the eyelid look quite as dry. So you can use these in the crease as well. And I like the finish that you get when you just use a blending brush to apply it all over the lid. I am going to use a finger really quickly to show you what it looks like in a bit of a heavier layer. It's not going to be packed with pigment, but it is going to give you a really nice light 
sheen to the lid overall very pretty with a luxie 229 we're gonna take the shade if you like a warmer eye this is going to be the color that will transform your look you can use it as a crease color it's not too overpowering not going to be packed with pigment but as you can see it applies very smoothly and you can use this to transform your eye to give it a warm look I'm just gonna leave it there for now of course I had to play with this black shade uh, Wayne Goss was very big on this black being in this palette and all of his palettes because it's a game changer as far as your eyes go whether it be defining the eye more deepening the shades that are already in this palette so I started off by applying just a little bit right here in the outer corner and I'm gonna blend it so this isn't going to be a packed with pigment kind of black just like all of these shades it's going to be a little bit more easier to work with which is great because blacks can be very intimidating so this is a very friendly black formula to use as far as deepening shades because a lot of times with blacks when they have too much color to them you really can't use it to actually deepen a shadow because it's just so black and hard to work with and hard to blend this is definitely a user friendly black so that's all I'm gonna do with that black for now we're gonna take this light champagne shade again another essential color and I'm just going to use that to brighten up the eye and you can also use that all over the lid if you would like today this is how we're using it it's really pretty very soft very satiny really opens up the eyes and adds a little extra punch of course one of the most exciting shades is the celestial shade and you guys it really is a gorgeous shade it doesn't have a pigmented base to it it really is just about that effect on this eye if you are going from day to night work tonight pop this on the lid and it really gives a fun little twist to the look it would look great over the black right in the center of the lid I just put it all over today so we could really see the effect here I don't get any fallout from this shade so far so good again to kind of test out the true capabilities of the black I'm taking in Isom T05 and I'm gonna stamp this on the lash line and as you can see on the eyes it blended out very easily it wasn't too harsh of a black but when you really pack it onto a tight dense brush like this. This just gets quite black. Very easy to work with. This is kind of one of the techniques that he really wanted to share in his reveal video that this black is also in here just to define your eyes with this one simple trick. And it's true. It looks really great. I did get the essential eye call in good old obsidian which is the black shade. So I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line and on top of the black shadow. I just did the black shadow to kind of show you what that would look like. As you can see it glides on very very black in the waterline and honestly it does set in the waterline because when I tried to blend it out I needed to apply more because it had set so I'm taking a little bit more black and we're gonna smoke out out here try and blend out the liner a little bit this trick also just instantly makes a super smoky eye okay so that is the look it's my demo of all the shadows I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and obviously here is the final look so overall thoughts about these products I really like them I don't think they're anything exciting in my collection by any means but I don't think that was the goal here I think it was to create good quality products that you're going to use and I think he did just that. I'm very happy to see a formula like this come out in the market. I can appreciate a buildable formula that is still blendable and just very user friendly. I think he did a fantastic job with this. I think he did a great job reaching his target audience. Everything in here is just very functional. As far as the eye cold goes, like I said, I am enjoying it. I think it did its job. It was very easy to use. It's very, very black, which I like and I think this is going to be a nice staple in my collection. So that is all I have for today. Today's video let me know what you guys think are you not happy with this palette would you like to have seen something else or does this excite you I want to know so thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one